Hey, what's up, YouTube? So this is my RC go kart right here. So what happened to this yesterday was I took it out to the park, and this server right here ended up like throwing smoke, so it burned out. So I swapped the servo out. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys step by step how this is done. <clears throat> right here, put the new servo on. Put the screw on, but I'm gonna take it back apart and show you guys exactly how it's done. All right. So this piece right here, this little bracket that holds the the servo. <clears throat> this is from a door hinge <clears throat> from a door latch see that like you know the, the, those um deadbolt those um latches so basically fits right over the servo and then i got these two holes drilled for it so you want to put it like that put it in there all right Okay, so I'll show you once I get all this connected. I'll show you guys. All right. All right. So this is the new arm that I got. It's an aluminum arm. And what I had to do was extend the wire. I know I should have made this one a little shorter, but. Right. So I'm just waiting on Jose to bring me the black tape. Tape that all up. And you'll see when I connect everything up, I'll show you guys. All right, guys, we're back. Let me show you guys what we did. So I taped up all the joints. Now this is the receiver right here. So what you want to do first, you always want to turn on your controller. So, so it doesn't go out of control. This is the old battery pack I used to use, but I figured out this is better. So what I did was I cut the, the end plugs like this. Put it right there. Battery on it. Can get confusing sometimes, so you just gotta figure it out, play with it. Let's see which is which. That's the front that's making that noise? Yeah. I don't know why the server's doing that, but I'll figure that out next. I'm trying to get the throttle going. Bottle's not kicking in yet. What is that?
something's wrong here. Let's see. Plug this in and we'll get right back to you. All right, guys, so we got everything connected right. Battery, battery pack. And then we have the, um, for the throttle. See that? When you hit the throttle here, pulls that lever, which pulls this. Now, these are all parts from, from the gas cars. Yeah, and it opens up the carburetor. Now look, this piece right here, you can take it off. You can take it off these gas carts. You know, you can take off any arms. You can make your own arms. You can take off the receivers, servos. All right, now you got that. And then, now the steering's not connected yet. The servo is, but come over here. Under here. What you do is, all right, look. See how that turns? So you always want to have this. Um, all right, leave the throttle trim on zero. Put the steering trim on zero. After that, then you connect it while it's on. Make sure your wheels are pretty much straight. Right there. Okay. Right, gotta put the little screw in here. This is an arm, a control arm from another control arm from over here, from, from the other RC. It's a longer one. Now the only downfall on this one right here is these plastic pieces. They keep snapping, so I always gotta constantly replace that. So I'm gonna eventually upgrade and, and put some kind of aluminum ones or something. Then it has uh, other two screws I gotta tighten up on the side. Right here. That clamps it down together right there. Let me get the other one. Okay. See that? Now the problem with this, this is the old servo. This one had, it had faster turning, like more torque. Yeah, well this one still turns. But eventually I'm gonna upgrade and get the um, the blue servo, the one like this, but the blue one. And this one's like, oh what, 25K? I want one stronger than this to put on here. But for now, we're gonna test it like that. But you understand the idea? I put two little washers here to sandwich this down. And um, I actually put epoxy here to give this a little strength. All right, now. All right, let's turn it on. You're gonna actually have to hit the
Okay, so I gotta put the cutoff switch back on. I had the cutoff switch connected to this servo and hit the button there, but it kept on jumping. Now you see this servo is no good. It's not. It's not um. It kept on jumping. It's jumping right now. I don't know why. You see what it's doing? It's probably guess it's back to the drawing board with this servo. Look. Yeah, this servo is not good enough. Look, it's throwing smoke. Look, look, it's throwing smoke. Oh wow. Ooh. Comment down below, guys. It's about to blow. But comment down below. Why is it doing that? That server just burned out. As you can see. That's what happened to me yesterday at the park with this servo. So let me know what kind of servo should I get for this one. Which one can I buy? Because hmm. when I used this one, it was pretty good. The whole idea, everything's good. It's just the servo keeps burning out on me. So now you guys see what I'm going through. All right. So, let me unplug the battery. Unplug everything. So that's what the problem I'm having. I need to get a stronger servo. Let me know what kind of servo should I get? Which one's best for this? What am I doing wrong here? Should I get another receiver? The bottle works. It's just the turning. It was working fine with this one, but when um, the plastic arm broke, I ordered the aluminum arm, and the only thing different I did was put this battery, because this one was costing me too much money. I kept on ordering batteries, and it's not strong enough. So I don't know if this is too much power for, for this. This just has 7.4 volts. I don't know, this is, maybe this is too strong for this. I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments down below. Alright, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.